Hey guys, so I have another nail tutorial for you, and this is the look that I came up with. There you go. So this is how you do it. I hope you like it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I have hot pink um, down here by the cuticle, and then a dark purple for the rest of the nail. You can use any colors you want. Um, I would just suggest that you use nail polishes on the thicker side that will cover in one to two coats. So what I already did is I applied my base coat. Um, I always use this one right here. Sally Hansen Strong Nails Now. So just one coat of that um, to each of my nails. Next I'm going to take my hot pink color. Mine has sparkles in it. Um, it's actually OPI's Don't Toy With Me is what it's called really pretty color, good for like the holidays. So what I'm going to do is just apply one coat to this, to each of my nails. And you don't have to really worry about um, the tips looking perfect. You just because they're going to get covered anyways. Just concentrate on getting the par um, the part of your nail nearest to the cuticle looking good. So once you have that polish on, um, just let it dry until you can touch it easily and it's not going to feel sticky. So I'm probably going to give it about five minutes of drying time and you'll see why in a second. Next part, I got a bunch of stickers like this. Mine are heart shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that rounded part of the sticker to cover up um, the area that we don't want to put the dark purple on. Like that. So you can use any shape. I'm using a heart shape but if you want, you can use you know dots or circles, anything with a rounded edge will be fine. I just had these already, so then what we're gonna do is um, put them against a napkin a few times to take away some of the stickiness, so it doesn't, it's so it's not too sticky that'll pull off that first layer of nail polish that we already put on, and you'll feel when when it's not as sticky anymore. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up the part that we don't want. And you can make this as big or, you know, as small as you want. Just depends on how you like the look of it. Kind of stick it on there. Then we're going to take our dark purple color. I'm using, what is this? Siberian Nights by OPI. And I'm going to put two coats. So for the first coat, we're going to keep the sticker on and let it sit for probably 30 seconds and then we'll take it off and then we'll just touch up the, um, the ends of the fingernails for the second coat. Okay, so it sat for about 30 seconds, now we're just going to take the sticker off and you'll see that it only put the purple where we want it to go. So now we're going to move on to the next one.
Wait another 30 seconds. And then take it off. And see if we can zoom in on that. Okay, now that we have our first coat, we're just going to go back over any spots that need it on the tips with that dark color again, obviously staying away from the hot pink area. Okay, so now for the last step, what we want to do is touch up that pink area. So I'm taking a brush like this. Um, it just has a thin tip. This is actually an eyeliner brush, um, and I only got it for a couple, couple dollars. You can get a brush from the craft store or um, anywhere, really. Or you can get a special nail brush. So you're going to take this, and then I'm just going to take an index card, and I'm going to put a little bit of my pink polish on there, just drop it on. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our eyeliner brush into that pink, get it covered. Okay. And now we're just gonna do just color it in. And then when you get up to that purple line, I find it easiest if I do like little dots right next to each other and then kind of the polish will melt together and the dots will connect. So. All right, and then we're just going to finish off with the top coat. I'm using Sally Hansen Dries Instantly. This stuff's great. It dries really quickly. Um, I also like Sacha V. I was using that up until now, but um, it got a little clumpy on me, so I had to buy a new one. So I figured I'd try something new. And this stuff um, is really good. And that's our final look right here. Let's see. Um, you can do any colors you want with these. So I hope you guys give it a try. I hope you like my tutorial. Um, on my blog, I will have a list of all the products I use for it. Um, and also pictures of the final results. So give it a try. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye. If you are what you say you are, yeah. a superstar. Oh,